three marketing mistakes holding you back from achieving more. So maybe you want to crush it. Maybe you're thinking about retiring. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, leaving your job one day and being able to just say, I don't need to have a job because I have a substantial, substantial enough of money coming in. Jenny Domingo, my sister from another mister. God bless you. Hope you're doing great. Having an amazing day today. So let's get straight to the point. Now, hitting big figures in business is a milestone for everybody, right? And you're probably saying, well, I would like to do more X. I can donate more, uh, give more to charities, help more people, and just do a lot of crazy good stuff to inspire the world to do more. Well, too often, the entrepreneurs are heading for this magical number on only to fall short. Why? On the road from rags to riches, there are three core marketing moves you must focus on to hit that uh, coveted seven, six figure, whatever you want, eight figure mark. Once you quit making these marketing mistakes, you will easily, describe this lady, easily scale your business to the figures you like. So, I'm a social media strategist, uh, who is uh, Lucy Vincent, who has worked on campaigns for email campaigns, big companies, big companies for, you know, great Google's, Rolex, American Express, and a few marketing tips that might be important. Here we go with number one. You're too, you're not focused, I'm sorry, you're not focused on client generating content. So most of the time you hear people, you have to create value. You have to just go live and do some lives and just pump value, but what is value? So sometimes you consider something as valuable, but you're not creating content that is focused on your specific niche, specific market, which actually leaves people often out of your, vid of your videos, leaving you talking by yourself, not catching up to the call to action. You might be giving free giveaways and they're not actually catching up. Why? Because your content must make your ideal client wonder, hmm, Am I reading it? Are they reading my mind? Are they speaking exactly what's bouncing off the walls of my brain? Well, don't worry. You don't actually need to be a sidekick, a sidekick to read people's minds uh, and accomplish this great feat. All you have to do is some research, says Vincent Stevens. So create content that will have people saying, they're talking to me. <laughs> Oh my God, I went through that exact same pl uh, thing. Oh my God, that is my situation. Oh my God, that's my problem. Oh my God, they're talking to me. Focus on generating content that is focused on your target audience, on your target market, your ideal customer, client, business partner. Focus on creating that type of content and you'll see how appealing it might be. Where do they hang out? What type of language they use? What type of verbiage? What is their pain point? Anyways, let's just get straight more. So number two, you're not sharing your message enough times on enough platforms. So I see a lot of people right now with all the social media mania. People are going, you know, and maybe you're just on Instagram. Maybe you're just on Facebook. Maybe you're just on one platform. Hey, I'm here. Um, I'm exposing myself. Here's my message. You know, I went through all this stuff, but guess what? You're not exposing yourself. I'm not saying you have to be on all platforms, but diversify a little bit. Hey, Alexis Cardona, my man over there in Puerto Rico, left-handed point guard from uh, many teams out there. Amazing champion. God bless you and your family, man. You got a beautiful family. So you're not you're not sharing your your message on enough platforms. That being said. Omnipresence might be a little big word, right? But quickly establishes you through a thought leader uh, in your space. So I recently started doing videos. I record myself and do videos on for LinkedIn. Uh, do videos on Instagram. Uh, I have my, my videos in here on, on Facebook. I also have a little presence on YouTube. Why? Uh, well, here's the thing, Jenny. Um, TikTok, it might count. I haven't done the TikTok ding dong. Thing. I, I haven't done one yet. I don't know if in the future I ever will because now we got the highlight reels, right? But 
I don't know. That can help you because it actually is keeping. It's a different audience, so you're you're showing up in different platforms. Big ups. I personally haven't done it, so I don't know if in the future I'll consider it. But let's see. Let's see what happens. So here's the thing. Let me introduce to the mere exposure effect. It's a universal law that states that the more often we hear something, the more we start to like it, and the more we can identify ourselves with it. And not only that the more we can relate with the person that's actually bringing the content. So if you share your story on Instagram, and if you share your story or if you share a video with part of your story, maybe on TikTok, ding dong, click, click, whatever, and you have an, you know, also an audience, now people are getting to know you. And we become what experts call an influencer. So now you're influencing audiences. I do not have a huge following on Instagram. I barely have a huge following on Facebook. I'm getting started because it is something that I need to learn how to actually be more, as you said, Jenny, be more relatable. People have to relate with me. You know, who I am, where did I come from? How did I, that helps you also identify your niche and your target. Uh, that's another topic we're going to talk about when we dig into personal branding, but not now. So number three you don't prioritize building relationships. So people are just throwing content and you think you think that uh, social media is just another ad pushing uh, thing to just, hey, here's my, you know, here's my product. Oh my God, it does miracles. This cleans my glass of uh, my screen and my phone and it makes me look like a total pro. So you're, you're exposing your products, period. You know, oh my God, this, you know, let help me grow limbs. And then <laughs> my hair grew back, whatever it is. So you're exposing the content of product. Yeah, you might get some people to buy, but what type of value are you bringing, pumping into the market? That's gonna help you a lot. So you need to prioritize on building relationships. Hey, you can be relatable. Hey, the single mom who's at home who could have barely paid their bills on time. Maybe you can help her out and say, hey, I have a way. It'll probably help you. Maybe a fit for you. Maybe not. Hey, there's a product for you that I tried once and I was hurting. My hands used to hurt and cribble off. I think I can help you out. I tried it. Maybe it would be a fit for you. See, have a story relatable so people can say, hmm, I might try that. And there you go. So those are the three mistakes big most marketers are making and and those are the three biggest mistakes in marketing in general it doesn't matter if you have a traditional business a laundromat if you have a corner store or you're building an online business you probably making these type of mistakes so you're not focused on your client on client generating content you're not uh sharing enough your message on enough platforms and you're definitely don't prioritize your building relationships and one of the biggest biggest gaps in entrepreneurship in general uh, I was watching a video of Simon Sinek, who was talking about the importance of having empathy during these times. So I went and I got a, 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 a training that I did uh, quite a while ago, but I brought it up and I put it also so people can have it for free. All you need to do is go and you know sign up for my email list. Just put your email. I'm gonna send you the video completely free. If you want, I'll send you the link so you can actually have it completely free. But it's mastering the art of empathy in entrepreneurship during these times. Very, very important to master this art. Is an art. Is a art. Empathy is a art. Needed. Most needed in during these times of crisis, pandemic, and all everything crazy that's going around. So if you want it completely free, let me know, I'll send you the link. You're gonna have it completely free. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. Mastering the art of empathy in entrepreneurship. I think more than ever, we need to start thinking different. If there's something we learned during all the pandemic is how to shift our mindset to adapt and be able to help others more than ever. Once you help others, the world, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, to me is God, will help you. So, there you go. Hope you found some value. And if you did, share in the comments, what did you like best? And if you want to get that free training video of Mastering the Art of Empathy and Entrepreneurship, then reach out to me because I'm going to send you the link. You can actually just sign up for free and have it directly to your email so you can have it and no one else can find it.
and I'm gonna make sure that it's deleted everywhere. Nobody's gonna find it unless you just reach out to me right now so I can send you the link. Have an amazing one. God bless you. Until next one, and I'll see you over the top.